Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 23rd, 2021. Republican Senator Susan Collins said that Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus package will not be getting any votes on by the GOP senators. This is no surprise, basically. But this just shows how tight the margin will be for Chuck Schumer when the bill reaches his desk sometime next week. Without any Republicans on board, he will need all the Democratic senators and independents to be voting on this bill for it to be passed. Collins did say that Biden's reach out to the Republican senators for bipartisanship was re- re- well received, but she does not feel that Chuck Schumer, as well as the White House staff, were interested in a bipartisan uh, par- uh, partnership. There is a rumor floating about that states Biden is willing for bipartisanship, but the members of the leaders of the Democratic Party aren't. We are willing to, we're basically going to have to wait and see how this affects our stimulus package. So basically, they're saying that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are not really willing to actually, you know, help out with a bipartisanship that Biden is actually trying to do with the Republicans at this present time. It was also leaked today that the Senate parliamentarian could um, basically rule on the minimum wage as soon as tomorrow. Her choice is the next obstacle for Democrats and progressives who support the $15 an hour minimum wage. Even though the parliamentarian could be overruled, Biden did indicate that this provision probably won't make it through. And basically says it also probably won't make it through the the Senate Rules Committee either. And that he didn't see the Democrats passing this against the parliamentarian's ruling. And getting votes from moderates like Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. Which those are two people that have actually talked about in other previews that actually uh, sort of oppose the fifteen dollars hour minimum wage. We don't know if they're going to try to pass that in this current bill or if they're going to try to do the standalone bill. Either way, with that in, it's going to be hard for the Senate, the Senate Democrats, to get the needed 50, 50 votes to pass this without those two Democrats. And if they wait for it to do it as a single bill, it's going to be even harder for them to pass it to try to get sixty votes to pass it. So it's going to be a hard time for that. There is a competing proposal from the other side, basically Republicans, from basically Mitt Romney and Tom Cotton. Both Republican senators announced their own version of the minimum wage increase. Their offer is called the Higher Wage for American Workers Act. This act would support a stronger labor market for American workers by gradually raising the, the federal minimum wage to $10 per hour. And that's right. You heard me, $10 per hour. Aren't we special, right? And mandating E-Verify to ensure raising wages go to legally authorized workers. Basically, this, this whole thing also will penalize people for hiring on non-documented immigrants. So that's why they're trying to make it so it goes to documented and legal workers in the United States. This proposal raised the wage of 3.5 million workers without harming the very working it's intended to protect. In fact, here's Romney and Collins' breakdown on the federal minimum wage that they're offering. Now it's going to be through for this provision to pass. Sorry, it's going to be tough for this provision to pass with the time as they are with the Democrats running the House, the Senate, and the presidency. But it's still going to be hard for them to pass because the Republicans are going to always oppose them on that one. But now with the reporting about the coronavirus and with its variants from England, Brazil, and South Africa, but researchers are starting to look up a new look at a new strain from California. In other words, it's a new strain of COVID nineteen or coronavirus, as you want to call it, in California. That's pretty close to home, I'd say. 
that is more contagious than earlier forms of the coronavirus. This is fueling concerns that emerging mutant strains like this one could hamper the sharp decline in cases over all the states and other areas. So basically, we now have more strains than we know what to do with. They had just barely discovered this one in California not that long ago. And why it took them so long is because they're not doing like widespread searching for other strains. They're trying to take care of the current strain out there. And the funding is limited on that one. But let's see what happens. I mean, this is supposed to be more contagious. And actually, it's supposed to ha be able to produce two times the viral load on people who get infected with it when it gets when they get hit with it. So it's a supposedly a very bad strain. And England is also subjecting some of their people to getting infected with COVID-19 to see the results and do testing to see if they can come up with a different form of the vaccine for them to actually get it passed so they can actually cure it. Because as we know, Fo Pfizer and Moderna, their current um, vaccine is at 95% effectiveness. And then we have the one from Johnson & Johnson, which is only 65% effectiveness. So we have three vaccines out there, and the really weird thing is, just I think Pfizer's vaccine has to be kept at freezing temperatures before it can be actually injected into the people, and Moderna's can be kept at refrigeration levels, and so can Johnson and Johnson's. So for those of you out there who's gonna go out there and get a Moderna vaccine shot, prepare to feel a nice cold shot in your veins because. They have to be thought first before they can inject it inside you. And they also have a very limited time frame to actually get all the injections taken care of before the vaccine goes bad. If that isn't bad enough, right? But as for now, this is my current uh, stimulus package update for you people. My people, all my viewers, all my subscribers, everyone. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please be safe out there. And I will broadcast again to you tomorrow or the next day when more relevant information comes available so I can give it to you. Until then, have a wonderful night. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the crowd.